Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Tom Antos and today I wanted to talk about the, the finally released and long-awaited Metabones Canon EF to Micro Four Thirds uh, speed booster. Uh, Metabones is known for creating some really you know high high end you know and really good quality uh, lens adapters. Uh, this one is actually an, an active or you could say a smart adapter which lets you electronically control the, the iris and, and a few other features within your lenses. Uh, and not only that, but it also it's a speed booster, meaning it increases the speed of your lens, so it makes it uh, more light sensitive uh, or gathers in more light and also it, uh, it, all, it changes the focal length of your lens. So uh, this, this adapter on, on like the, the Panasonic GH4 will essentially turn your GH4 uh, image sensor into something that's equivalent to like a super 35 millimeter uh, camera. Now a super 35 millimeter camera sensor is actually a little bit still smaller than a full frame sensor but if you're using your camera for video, uh, that shouldn't really matter to you, especially if you're trying to replicate the kind of look that you know you've seen in all, all your f favorite movies, especially even the movies that have been shot, you know, before uh, b before the, the invention of, of digital uh, uh, film cameras. Because Super 35 is actually really the standard for motion pictures, uh, or you could say for you know for v digital video now. Uh, your cameras like the you know the Arri Alexa or uh, or you know the the Red Epic, they all use a image sensor that's equivalent, uh, to more or less. You know they all slightly different, but it's more or less a Super 35 millimeter image sensor. And, and that standard has been established back in the day when when film cameras were being used. Now full frame is just simply a standard for uh, still photography. Uh, the, the you know when you when it's being shot with a, a SLR camera or now with DSLR cameras. And the, the reason why that became a standard is because it was just easier to feed the 35 millimeter film sideways in a still photography camera versus, you know, vertically like in a, in a motion picture camera. And so essentially the, you could say the height now of the film or the width, you know, in a motion picture film is now becomes the height. So essentially the image sensor becomes slightly larger. That's really the only reason. So don't think that, you know, just because you don't have a camera that has a full frame that you're somehow, I don't know, you're you don't have the, the, the right tools to produce cinematic looking images. And now before I start you know, explaining a little bit further about you know, the, how this adapter works and exactly what it is, for those of you guys who don't know, let me just first show you uh, some quick examples that I had a chance to shoot uh, yesterday you know, with this adapter and the, and the GH4. Just got a few shots out here in the park and then you know, a few shots in the evening and at night uh, on, on the streets of New York. Uh, here it is, hope you guys enjoy it. So as you guys can see, you can get some really nice, uh, you know, very cinematic looking images, uh, you know, even though this was so random and just like I said, no, no preparation on my part, just literally just went out there the second I got this adapter and just wanted to try it out. Uh, but as you can see, yeah, you can get some really nice cinematic shots uh, with this adapter. I mean, you, you can get some nice shots with the GH4 even without this adapter, like I showed in, in my previous video. But um, I think with this adapter, it just kind of gives you a little bit more creative control not to mention that it just allows you to use you know all this canon glass and i know a lot of you guys out there have invested probably a lot of money into let's say like the 5d or 7d camera you know from canon and you have a lot of canon ef you know uh, lenses that you'd probably want to use on your 
on your GH4. Now, if you're not sure what you know, what is the the big deal or what's what's the difference between this adapter versus you know some of the other adapters out there that I've been already showing you guys, which also allow you to put you know Canon EF lenses onto uh, you know micro four thirds you know uh, cameras, then uh, you know if you just look at it, I mean the first thing you'll see right away is that. Uh, this adapter versus this one has you know piece of glass in there also it also has these you know electronic contacts here uh, which you know like I said you know on both sides which you know effectively transmit electronic information to your lenses versus this one which is uh, you know this adapter by the way retails right now for $600 US this one uh, it retails for around $15 on eBay uh, or Amazon so you know, very big, big difference in price. So you might be even wondering to yourself, why would you want to spend that much more money on this adapter if you can get this one for really cheap? Well, the, the difference is this. Uh, this one is going to work great, especially if you have old manual lenses or if you have, let's say, like the, the Canon EF, you know, cinema lenses, because those are, again, you know, manual. So those lenses don't really need any electronic information to, to control the, the, the iris in, in, in the, in, 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 inside the lens. Uh, so this kind of adapter will work great. Now this adapter will not change the focal length of uh, of those lenses. So, if for example you put a, let's say let's say like a 50 millimeter lens onto a micro four thirds camera, it's still going to be a 50 millimeter lens. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people out there say that you know let's say a 50 millimeter lens on a micro four thirds camera essentially you know it converts it to a 100 millimeter lens. It's, that's not really true because in, when you're just putting a lens, the the focal length will never change. It makes it look almost like that lens now becomes 100 millimeter but that's just simply because you're crapping in really on the center of, of your lens so so in a way you know these adapters that are you know uh, they are not smart adapters and also you know don't reduce the focal length of your lenses are are very simple simple you know basically pieces of equipment it's just literally a piece of metal that has one mount on the one side and another on the other that's really all it does now smart adapters what they do is uh, is they you know electronically allow you to control the the canon you know ef lenses so if you have let's say a lens like this canon you know 50 millimeter f1.4 this you know now uh, the, the, this lens uh, you know in order to change the, the the aperture inside of it since there is no other ring here you know where you can allows you to manually change that you have to change it within your camera so if you put this on a, like a Canon 5D or 7D, it's no problem because the camera will, you know, with, with your settings, will, will automatically change the iris inside this lens. So now if you put this lens on, let's say, the, the GH4, just using this, this sort of a you know, cheap inactive adapter, then you, there's no way you can control the, the, the aperture inside this lens. So you cannot close it down further. It's gonna, usually it's going to just stay wide open. Uh, and that, that might work you know, for a lot of situations, but sometimes you do want to close the lens down uh, to, to, to control that depth of field. So that's where you know a smart adapter like this one really comes in handy. And now another thing that a speed booster also allows you to do is to reduce the focal length of uh, of your lenses, and which you know effectively, like I said, will will make it look like a, like this uh, this micro four third sensor is like a super thirty five millimeter sensor. Uh, now traditionally this sort of thing was not possible. I mean you know you, back in the day you could buy the telecode converters for example, which actually in, uh, increased the focal range. So uh, it would take your you know 100 millimeter, 200 millimeter lens and make it you know even longer. Now those teleconverters actually uh, would take away a little bit of light and also they would degrade the image quality. The reason is because you'd be concentrating on the center of the lens basically. You'd be effectively again crapping in on, just on the, on the center of that lens. Versus, uh, you know, a really cool thing about these adapters now is that, like I said, not only do they make your uh, lenses, you know, a little bit faster or they basically collect more light, but they actually make the image even sharper. Even though I know a lot of people might be thinking, how is this possible? You know, you're putting an adapter and an extra piece of glass in between, you know, your, your lens and your camera. But it actually does it because it now takes the image from basically your whole lens and it concentrates it onto a smaller, you know, image sensor versus, uh, you know, without this adapter, you're just using the middle of that lens, meaning, you know, and then you're magnifying it, meaning that if, let's say, you know, there's some little imperfections in your glass, in your lens, then all of those imperfections are going to be, you know, magnified. So, you know, the images aren't going to be as sharp and that kind of thing. With this adapter that actually, you know, um, like I said, it makes the images sharper and then, you know, adds more light. Now, uh, traditionally, these, these kind of adapters were not passable. Or traditionally, I say like back in the day when you know when people used to use SLR or you know even at the beginning DSLR cameras, and the reason is because DSLR cameras or lenses, the way they're like like for example this Canon 7D, the way that they're designed is that the light you know when it would pass through through the lens, it would have to travel a little bit more longer uh, distance, and the image sensor in this camera is actually you can see up here at the end, 
and uh, and so there's about this much distance here between the back of the lens and the actual image sensor and the reason for that is because right in the middle there you have a, a little you know flip up mirror and uh, and that's how you know uh, DSLR cameras work now with these new breed of cameras which are mirror mirrorless or DSLMs um, that mirror is no longer there you know and it's basically it's just not necessary for, for for the way that the camera operates so because of that now if you notice here the image sensor is up here so it's a much smaller but I would say about a half the distance than in a, a DSLR uh, between the you know the, the the lens attachment or the back of the lens and the actual image sensor so you know it, that what that now allows you to do is because you have all this extra space if you were to put this you know this Canon EF lens now as close as like a micro four thirds lens to you know on a micro four thirds camera then that image would basically be would be would focus in you know basically past the camera so that's why you know these kind of adapters and inactive adapters are, are a little bit you know uh, thicker and they kind of push out the lens a little bit so they again add that extra bit of that distance and so you know essentially what that means is now you have extra sp space sort of to play around with and that's why these ad adapters now are possible versus you know like i said back in the day it was just impossible to create a, a, a focal reducing uh, you know or a speed booster adapter uh, for slr lenses and and the reason is because you simply could not put it on a on a DSLR camera or a SLR camera, and so that is true to this day. So, for example, if you're wondering if you can get this at kind of an adapter, speed booster, for your Canon or Nikon glass, uh, for like a, uh, for another DSLR camera like the Canon 5D, or, or uh, I'm not sure if you'd want it for that, but let's say for Canon 7D to turn it into a full frame camera. Well, actually, you can't. Uh, but you could can get it for other cameras that are not DSLR, so basically cameras that are mirrorless, like the the Sony NEX cameras or, for example, the the, the GH4, GH3, those kind of cameras. And that's what you know this adapter is, is really great for. And like I mentioned before, there's a, this company actually makes you know a few other adapters for different lenses and, and camera you know combinations. So if you guys you know want to find out about you know all the all the different adapters that they have out there and what they're good for and all that stuff. Uh, then check out my website at tomantosfilms.com uh, So now I'm going to uh, show you what, what a shot looks like on a full frame camera like the Sony a7S I'm using a 24mm Rokinon Cine lens with the iris open all the way so you can really see sort of that narrow depth of field and now here's how that same shot looks on the Panasonic GH4 uh, using the same lens and same settings but also using the Metabone Speed Booster as you can see, it's you know it's fairly similar. It's a little bit obviously tighter because it is a super 35 millimeter uh, image sensor essentially now, but it's uh, you know it's still a very nice looking image, and it's definitely you can get nice shallow depth of field. And here, just to have something else completely to compare it to, here is again that same lens on the Panasonic GH4, but now with just an inactive, basically the cheap $15 adapter, which you know like I said does not change the, the focal range of the lens. Now, you know, I hope this sort of, you know, this very brief video uh, helped kind of answer a, a few of the questions for you guys about this adapter. Uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, uh, just sort of having tested this out, I got to say, you know, I'm, I myself am I'm pr pretty impressed, you know, not just with, you know, the fact that now, like I said, it effectively takes my, you know, Panasonic GH4 camera and makes it into a super 35 millimeter camera, uh, you know, so it can create those truly cinematic images or that, that you know, cinematic depth of field but also uh, just the quality of, of this this adapter is, is you know very well, well made it, the lenses they fit on there really snug there you know there's no you know kind of loose moving parts or anything like that it also comes with this little tripod adapter up here so if you were to use it on like a smaller camera like you know that has a micro four thirds you know sensor like let's say the the packet cinema camera uh, which that camera is so small that if you put like a big you know heavy uh, canon ef glass on it it might even just damage the camera so the cool thing is here now you can use this to attach, you know, basically the, the camera and the, the, the lens to your tripod. Um, with the GH4, I feel like that's not really necessary uh, because the GH4 actually has a pretty big sturdy body. But let's say if you were to use one of these adapters on the Sony NEX cameras, like the Sony NEX5, uh, which I reviewed before, that camera is again so small that the body is very flimsy. Or even the Sony A7S, I found the, 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 the body of it is, is not as sturdy and not as strong as the GH4. So that's where, you know, having this little extra attachment would, would come in handy. Uh, another really cool feature about this adapter is the fact that it does actually have a, a micro USB connection here and it has this little dial here. 
on the side and what this is for is that in case you were to use this adapter on a on a on a micro four thirds camera that does not have a, a live or, or a active micro four thirds you know lens mount uh, then you it still will allow you to essentially control the iris inside of your uh, you know Canon EF lenses by just connecting a little you know USB battery and then using this little dial now like I said you do not use that when you're actually connecting it to like the GH4 which sends out you know electro electronic information but you know that's just like an another cool extra function to have on this and then another thing that this adapter also does is it because it supplies the power to your lenses it actually uh, allows you to use the, the image stabilization in your lenses so for example I have a lens like up here which is actually a Sigma you know uh, 70 to 300 millimeter now you know all the way at 300 millimeter focal range this you know it's very hard to get a really stable image with this unless you have you know built in you know image stabilization which this lens does have and uh, but again to, to use that you have to either use it on a Canon you know camera so it will supply the thing uh, the power or use an adapter that will allow you to take the power from your camera and this thing allows you to do that so it's really cool because now like I said I can use these you know really long uh, you know lenses with image stabilization on my Panasonic GH4 uh, really really exciting feature to have now I know some of you are wondering if you can use also autofocus with this unfortunately with this one you can't use it the uh, autofocus does not translate I think they do make some some adapters for some other lenses or other lens you know camera you know mount uh, configurations that do allow you to to use the the autofocus but it's usually very limited because the yeah just because just the way the, the the electronic information is being sent so this is more suitable for I would say for video work uh, because in video work you're pretty much going to be you know manually uh, you know, adjusting your focus anyways anyways great a great little adapter I'm happy they finally came up with it and if you have a, a Panasonic GH4 camera I, I think this is a must for you to get it especially if you have you know all that Canon EF you know you know glass you know lying around now uh, this will also work with a few some other you know lenses uh, that have Canon EF you know mounts like for example lenses that are not native you know Canon lenses but uh, not all of them you have to sort of check there's a list uh, again I'll provide that on my website where you can see which lenses are compatible or not but most of the lenses are like I have a Sigma I have a Tamron lens that works with this great and I also have some Bauer and Rockinon lenses uh, there are cinema lenses that work great on this too so th th those are not active lenses but it's great just to be able to like I said reduce the focal range of those, of those lenses anyways hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and once again uh, for all the information on this or, or some of the other adapters uh, go to my website at tomatosfilms.com. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.